Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Avedon the Black Fortress with me, Atantuo. Uh Last time we were uh, betrayed by Lord Griffin, who seemed like such a nice person at first. Um, yeah, and we had to run away basically from Castle Bibo to this uh, new place in the Baraza Deep Woods. We uh, start out at this uh, river or or lake bed. I can only assume that we arrived here by swimming. Anyway, oh well, I guess we get the explanation right here. At last, after miles of running through the thickets of the Baraza Woods, hound hounded at every moment by the wolves and basilisks of Castle the Bow, you are granted a few moments of peace. You collapse panting on the west shore of a wide, slow-flowing stream. An hour of trudging through its cold waters seems to have thrown your pursuers off the scent. You have some time to digest what has happened to you. Monitor Shigas murdered. You accused of the crime. Packed soldiers hunting you. Not good. Shima looks down the dark path to the west. We must be alert. Duke Griffin clearly has this has his lapses in judgment, but his warriors are skilled and tireless. Nathalie wraps her damaged arm in a long strip of cloth. The cold water has not been kind to her not been kind to it. She snarls. I grow tired of running. Any who tried to haul me back to Avedon in chains make a fatal error. Yeah, about that. Um, your brief rest comes to an unhappy end. Somehow, someone has picked up your trail. To the north, you hear uh, you hear howls, followed by hisses, followed by horns. The baying and tumult approaches from that direction. Your pursuers are numerous, close and getting closer, and the woods to the south are too dense for speedy travel. Only the pathway to the west leads away from them. Interesting. So, does that mean that I'm actually going to be actively pursued by a war party here and I have to kind of run away because I don't like doing that as you might have learned by now yeah hmm. so you might have learned by now I like to check my surroundings and uh, every bit of every map very carefully and methodically and uh, rushing through areas does not suit me very well anyway we'll see New quest. Return to Avedon. Something terrible has happened. You have been betrayed by, the, uh, betrayed and driven from Castle Bow. You need to find a way to return to Avedon and report to Redbeard what has happened. Exactly. Uh, the thing is, uh, the uh, the way I got here from Avedon is the pylon, which is in the right in the middle of Castle Bow. So do I actually need to fight my way back into the castle to use the pylon, or do I plan to make my way back to Avedon on foot or by some other means of transportation that I will have to uh, find first. That is the question. Wow, okay, there are a lot of enemies here. I wonder if they're gonna be endless like they were back at the bow. I'm gonna... Well, they are pretty tough, that is for sure. Um... I will... Give it a try, at least this once. See how this goes. If I have any chance of uh, winning against these, or if the, this is just meant to kill me when I foolishly try to resist. This should, yeah, this will actually hit a good number of them. Yeah, these are certainly among the tougher enemies I've seen in a while. You teleport there, stunning this guy. Wait, didn't stun him. No, that wolf was stunned. Okay. Also, I guess I should use my buff, my spine shield, because I will be attacked pretty soon. Hmm... You move here, war cry, everybody. I will have to make use of all of my AoE spells to even stand a chance against this force. Oh god, we're stunned. Yeah, that's not good. Um, hey, Nathalie, I hope you can. Deal some good damage here. Now yeah, that will hit at least this cluster of enemies here. That's some good damage. 
And she can do this again. Except with this spell. Again, it did not deal very much damage compared to what, what the tooltip says. It's interesting. So far, whenever I've used that spell, forget what it's called, it has not performed exceptionally well. It does look like these are all the enemies there are, so maybe if I can actually beat them, I will have time to um, to take care uh, to to look around in peace, basically. Uh, let's see here. All my sp all my damage spells are off cooldown uh, or on cooldown, actually. But I do have this wand of corruption here. That comes in very, very handy. Actually, let's use it right again. All of my enemies are now heavily corrupted, so that's good. Good thing my uh good thing the the boys are so are as sturdy as they are. Man, now I wish I had kept more of these uh of these ones around. If only I had known that I would be needing them. Okay. Two down. Good. Kill it please. Very nice. Tanto was still stunned. Ouch. Yeah, this guy needs to go. However, I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, might as well use her to kill him. And... I don't know. Actually, why don't you go here and use your AoE? Some good damage, and you can attack the hunter, backstabbing him. Okay, maybe a Tantua will be able to attack this turn, or this upcoming turn. Okay, that wolf killed itself, or died from the corruption, rather. Yeah, this is getting a bit dicey. Oh, a bit too dicey. Um, her stuff is still on cooldown. Let's kill that hunter. I don't like their cleaving and doing all kinds of nasty stuff. Why don't you heal just a little bit? And, I don't know, I guess use that. Ouch. Yeah, I was afraid that might happen. Crap. Ah, uh, it's not looking so terribly either. I guess I need to use this, and the spells are still on cooldown. That wolf is not corrupted anymore, so I'd rather get rid of it for good. Hmm. <laughs> Should I revive Shima? I guess I have ten resurrection scrolls, so I might as well. And now I can use my second wind to heal up. Yeah, these guys are pretty, pretty dangerous, actually. Um, let's kill. Uh, the specialist, if we can. No, we can, not quite, but it was a nice cleave anyway. 
I think we should be good now. Finish off that one. Yes, nice. Okay, and a good level up. Um, congrats, Shima, on reaching level 30 as the first member of our party. So what did I want to increase? What can I even increase? I can put one more point into this. But do I want that even? I guess I do. Oh wait. Two points to spend, yeah. Oh right, because unlocking a spell costs two points. Right. So I guess in that case, um, my only other uh, option is increasing Shadow Step. Sure, why not? Um, I guess and you just keep backstabbing that dude. You buff again. I should have done that last time. I think it was off cooldown already. I think I might need to heal again. And uh, I guess use this. It's kind of a waste against only two targets, but uh, not too bad. Alright. That guy's. Uh, has acid effect on him. He might. Oh, well. Or I might get hasted and kill him. Just like that. Why don't you move? Closer, even closer. Oh, what's up here? Oh god, Callum Hunter. It's not over. I guess. Well, that wasn't quite enough. Why don't you teleport right here? You're hasted, so attack that guy. Should have attacked this one because. That's the one he can easily reach. Alright. Stun resisted, of course. Didn't expect it to be any other way. Um, I guess we focus on this one first. That guy's toast. Yeah, right now, actually. Oh, come on, really? That could have been two very good hits, potentially. One more round. Okay, there are two more, at least two more. I guess they will join in on the fun. Yeah, for sure. Yep, right about now. It should be fine though. I'll save my special attacks for the next batch of enemies. Yeah, and he killed himself. Very nice. Okay, why don't you... Yeah, you can hit all of them. So please do that. Oh wow, these are just normal enemies. Okay. Not the extra tough variety. Well, in that case... Poor fools. You will get slaughtered. Actually, yeah, we can just do this until they're here. Eh, why don't you burn her from a distance? Oh, I guess I should have changed to my melee weapon. How silly of me. Okay, change now. And combat mode. Oh my god. So that was completely optional, I think. Um, almost, almost completely sure that that was 
not that I was not intended to or not expected to um, defeat all of those. Actually, I have plenty of of ones left. Could have used a one of calling to create some distractions for the enemies, but oh well. Did they drop anything down here? Animal skin. Hmm. All right. Uh, let's save that. Don't want to have to repeat that if it can be helped. So. I guess they can have established a, an outpost here in the short time of the hunt, so this must have already been here. I wonder what this building is, or used to be. Let's step inside, shall we? The box is locked, two lockpicks. Um, with only 13... Oh, hello. Hello, Blade Master Helai. Well... I guess you move up here and... give us the buff. Ah, too bad. It's line of sight based even for allies, so... she didn't get it. Oh well. Um, will this hit? Well, this will not hit all of them, unfortunately. And since at least two of them are ranged fighters, they will probably try to get away. Okay, but uh, the normal soldiers here are just the weak variety. That should not be a problem at all. Even if Halai turns out to be relatively strong, which I don't think he will. Oh, wait, he's just terrified. Okay, for a second there I thought he might be, um, you know, charmed. But he wasn't. Yeah, these guys are not a problem at all. Attack. Oh, attack. Yeah, that didn't count as a uh, as a backstab, unfortunately, because Tantuo, I guess, isn't considered an active party member at this point. Something like that. Um. Oh, that was a good hit. Now, Nathalie was taking quite the beating there. Not a fan of that. Actually, why don't you shoot her dead? And you drink one of these and attack Hilai. He's actually pretty squishy for a for a named enemy. Ouch! 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 Why? Why does he attack three times in a row? That's just not fair. Um, I did not mean to do that, but that's fine. It was just enough. Alright. Sorry, Nathalie. Um, let's see here. Speed. How many do we have? Ten, nine, okay. Hey, nice new Wand of Corruption. As if the game knew that I used those and a scroll for resurrection. I guess that just about covers all of my expenses. And here we have yet another pair of boots. And another chest that is not locked. It's much appreciated. Dexterity. Don't really need many of those, but I guess I can put some in my chest back at Avedon, should I ever make it back home, that is. Alright. So that's that. I 
again, I assume that this entire area was completely optional, and I was really expected to flee down this path first, maybe. I don't know. Maybe at some point I would have returned there, take care of Helai without that uh, overwhelming force stopping me, or trying to stop me. That didn't really work for them. Guess I didn't have to run in the first place. Or didn't have to run this far. Could have just stopped and faced them. If the game had given me uh, the choice to do that earlier. Let's see here. I guess this is just a... Yeah. It is really just a linear path. For the time being. You are as alert as you can be, given your exhausting journey here. Thus, though the Callum scout hiding off the path to the north is well concealed, you see her eyes peering at you through the brush. She steps into view, and you are surprised to see that though she is armed, she is not a packed soldier. She nods and raises her blade to you. I am Taste, she says. If you tire of being hunted, I might help you. Well, um, I'm not really being hunted anymore right now. You walk up to Taze. She is young. She is a young woman, tanned and wearing rough leather, cl uh, rough leather cloths. Clo clothes. <laughs> She's obviously lived in these woods for many years, if not her whole life. She watches you with great interest. She says in a voice barely above a whisper, "You are looking rather rough, if you don't mind me saying. Wet, dirty, in need of a hot fire. If you don't mind me asking, who are you and where are you from?" Um. Hmm. I am Atantuo, a harmless traveler in these lands. When you say this, you hear something to the northwest, footsteps moving softly over dry leaves. Taze nods and smiles. A harmless traveler, you say, but even a blind child could see that you aren't tra that you aren't telling the truth. If you wish a moment's shelter and can bring yourself to speak honest, I can give directions to a man you might wish to meet. Tell me more about you and your people. You speak with authority, but I have orders not to give you information. Not until we know more about you. I will give directions, that is all. Why are you alone why are you alone out here? Because these woods are now crawling with the Duke's soldiers, and he who commands me wishes to know why. I am not the only scout in the shadows, but I am the the one lucky enough to have spotted the Duke's prey. Where can I go to find shelter? Tais leans close and whispers, I am glad that you ask. There is a trapdoor in the grove behind me. Descend and go northwest. It is probably safe. Probably? This tunnel is well hidden, but the Duke's troops are thorough. None of his hunters lurked within when I passed through, but that was yesterday. And then? Ascend through the ladder at the far end of the tunnel and walk out east to the road. Cross the bridge to the north and move with care. Soldiers of the Pact are out in force. How can I evade them? Not that I want to. But just in case. Watch from a distance and cross the bridge when they are f when they are away. Last I saw, the bridge had no sentries. I prefer to fight my way through. Exactly. Tace inspects you with a critical eye. You seem competent enough, but the Duke is going to great lengths to hunt, this, to hunt his prey. Even you might find yourself overwhelmed. Well, we'll see about that. Uh, anyway, when I am across the bridge, step off the road to the west as quickly as you can and head north. You will come to our humble settlement soon enough. And then? That is up to my master. Go now, and quickly. I must return to my hiding place to watch and to learn. She slips back into the undergrowth to the north. The conversation ends. Uh, I do not remember most of those directions. She gave me lots of, lots of directions as to where to head and, you know... When, when to turn, to what direction. Uh, I just hope that I'll find the way, even if I don't remember every single direction there. You reach the edge of the woods and you see a, a white pathway. This is one of the few roads through the Barraza woods. It is wild and untended, though in better shape than the rugged paths you have seen to the north. However, a moment after you step out, you jump back. The road, normally free of travel except for a few brave caravans, is heavily patrolled with guards, Kellum soldiers wearing plate and bearing greatswords. Horns hang from their belts, ready to call for reinforcements in moments. 
Going out there is extremely dangerous. Your griffin is sparing no expense to catch you and bring you back to his castle. I have no doubt about that. Now the question is, do I want to to test my skill against these? Hmm. Let me let me just try it at least once. At least there are only four of them at a time. It should be fine. Oh yeah, they are no problem at all. The question is um, also um, how seriously I should take that uh, remark about them calling reinforcements. Uh, one of the packed soldiers guarding the road sees you. He has a blade in one hand and a horn in the other. When he realizes that you matched the, des the description of one of the fugitives he is hunting, he starts to raise the horn to his lips. Starts to. A sentry has seen you. He starts to raise his horn to his lips. Uh, which one is it? Is it a specific enemy or do I just need to kill them quickly enough? That is the question. Well, these are dead, that's for sure. And those have not seen me, apparently. Okay, so far so good. I guess fighting really is an option then. I don't need to use the concealed path. You start to walk down this road, trying to put some distance between you and your pursuers. Then you stop. You realize that you are only taking yourself farther from Castle of Abo. It's Pylon, and your only way back to Avalon. Well, not technically the only way, just the only way within a reasonable time frame. If you can't find your way back home and clear your name, you will be a fugitive forever. You will be doomed. With great regret, you turn back. Oh, all right. So the map ends here, and for the first time, it's not actually a transition zone to the world map. That's interesting. Okay, let's engage this group of enemies. Nice. So long as we can get uh, reasonably close to them before they have a chance to react, we should be good. Let's use this first. Oh, why are the, these two immune? Okay, again, he starts to... Oh, well, they do, le do deal a lot of damage, at least to her. Um, this one might be a problem. However, I should be able to kill, yeah, actually, three of them. That was really good. An enemy is visible. Uh, oh, yeah, several of them, in fact. Kill them warriors and at least one spellcaster type. Why can't I see her now? Okay, Sorceress Eponine. I guess... Hmm, maybe I will emerge from here, or... This must be the bridge they um, were talking about. Drea the Farsighted. I am very tempted to engage these these people. However, oh, or maybe I'm supposed to emerge from here? There are more enemies down that way, or wasn't that an enemy? Check that out in a moment. Okay, so there are several ways to that enemy encampment. And there is a giant woods bed on the other side. Okay, so it's not just the Duke's soldiers, but also some wildlife around. And we have another building here. Interesting. Oh, Baraza Trekker? Okay. Are these... Oh, two of them actually. Are these the Duke's men as well? If they are, they aren't very tough. Certainly appreciate that. Nice, and we have another level 30. Um, well, okay, I wouldn't have reached anyway. It was a mistake, not running farther. 
farther away, lady. Alright. Let's take care of this. 46 intelligence. Pretty neat. Now, what do I pump with my last couple of points that I will ever get? Could increase this. Um, yeah, that's actually pretty good. Cannot increase that any further. My only real choices are... Or my only real choices, yeah, are either to increase days to level 8 or increase ward mastery further. At level 7 I will gain resistance to magic and elemental attacks. I guess I will do that. And that's it for skill points for Nathalie. Uh, I guess Atantua must be really close to reaching 30 as well. Oh, well, well, well. I knew this looked suspicious from this side. Oh, and there is a button. And some more beasties. Altered wolves. I've seen plenty of those before. Well, that is unfortunate, but nothing I can really do about it right now. Okay, it's his turn. Go take care of the basilisk before it can stun anybody else. Shima is active again. There we go. There we go. 40 strength. Mm. I could put one more point into this. Or I could... Um, actually, increase triumphant roar. I use that a lot. Call of the Frenzy. Yeah. That should have unlocked Call of Frenzy, that's also very nice. Unfortunately, I cannot put another point into this. So my options are now down to Path of the Shield or Second Wind. I guess I will uh, max out Path of the Shield, since I am supposed to be, or he is supposed to be, a tank class, so might as well be as tanky as can get. Alright. Oh, and there's the achievement. Perfection achieved for the whole party at level 30. I wonder how much more of the game I'll have to go through <laughs> at max level now, because obviously a big part of the fun of any RPG is leveling up and growing stronger. I guess I will still find some uh, equipment upgrades potentially to grow in that regard. Hmm. Stairway down. Interesting. Will this lead to the same underground underground area? You descend into this dark cellar. The building above was, you suspect, an abandoned farmhouse. When the hunt for you began, Kellen soldiers moved in and did a remarkable job of quickly turning it into a base of operations. For example, this tunnel was, in the span of hours, cleaned out and turned into pens for the beasts hunting you to the hunting you to rest and be fed. You can hear them in the shadows, snarling and, gr and gnawing on bones. And then, above their grunts, you hear the crack of a whip. The sharp sound of it echoes down the long tunnel to you. It's not just beasts down here. Their trainer is, too. Okay. So I guess this is just an optional side area that I can and obviously will choose to clean up the beasties. Hunting Hellhound. They won't be hunting for very long anymore, and watch these be immune to fire. Yes, of course. Oh well. Uh, 
They're not immune to this, though. Although it didn't do quite as much as I hoped it might. Uh, this should hit three of them at the very least. I guess I could have positioned myself so that I would have hit the fourth one as well, but oh well. Also, I should have backstabbed the other one. Oh, right. Immune to fire. Already forgot. Okay. Yeah, enemy is visible, but apparently, obviously not active yet, so... Not a factor at this point. I am waiting for her spells to come off cooldown. Well, I don't really need her fire AoE. But I could just occur to me. I could actually do this and use her Ice Storm instead. Again, it will not hit all of them, but it should finish off these two. Probably. Yep. Okay. Very nice hit. Um, oh. Wait, what? Can't reach target? Why? Uh, oh, because it's still Shima's turn. Never mind then. Yeah. I know. I don't want to spend any more... Uh, any more... Action points, though. Oh, you're still frenzied. Alright, those weren't so bad. And there we have... The... no, not the master. Oh, well, should've... I guess two... Two masters. Um, yeah, sure. Triumphant drawer. Now new and improved. You can use this. Oh, sweet. I guess there must be an actual boss down here. These can't be it. They're just too pathetic. Anything interesting? No, not really. More of these. That's a little bit annoying. Guess I could do something like this. Meh. Another option, of course, is to use her ranged weapon, which I basically never do. But I do now. Doesn't deal a whole lot of damage, but it's better than nothing. Alrighty. Wait. Lockpicks. Don't know where they were, but I'll gladly take them. Not that ham, though. Uh, where did you want to go? Okay, they are coming. I was not sure. That's... Uh, Hit these three. And you can finish off that one. Very nice. Anything in here? Does not look like it. Okay, and here we go. 
That's Molly Sandy herself. With the Drake. It grew up awfully fast. I gotta say. Anyway. Yeah, I thought she might have something to say. Uh, you round the corner and see a familiar face, indeed. It is Tender Melusandi, master trainer of the Vabo Kennels. Unsurprisingly, she is far less friendly now than she was before. Two hellhounds and two basilisks stand at her side. They are huge, fierce beasts, the pride of her kennel. Their presence makes her far more confident than she should be. And then something else edges out from behind her. It is a young drake, barely hatched. It is small, but its fangs are sharp and its fire is hot. Melisandi says, Ah, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> ah, Atantuo, Duke Griffin himself told me to hunt you down. You have led to the deaths of many of my prized beasts. I mourn them, and before this day is out, you will have paid for the loss of each one. Um, I see you have a drake. Yes, hatched from the very egg you brought me. One day I hope it will grow large and strong. First it will test itself by fighting the hand who stole it from its mother. You think that is a smart thing to do? Seriously? Duke Griffin sent you after me? He called me to his private chambers and gave me the order personally. He was most determined that you be killed. Why does he want me dead? Don't know. Don't care. My line exists only to serve the Lord of Abo. The Lords of Abo. You should not obey the Duke. He is a traitor. Tender Melisandy snorts. When you say he is a traitor, you mean that he does not obey Avedon. That is true. He told me that I was hunting hands, and he told me why. And why are you hunting me? Because Avedon is too weak and corrupt to protect the pact. Because the pact's time is past. Duke Griffin has a new, pa a new path for Calendariel. He looks out for our people, and so do I. And what is that path? I did not ask. I trust him with my life. All I know is that you will not live to see it. Duke Griffin is either mad or a traitor, or both. If doing what is best for the people of Calendariel is treason, then he is a traitor, as am I. Be ready and take heart. You are not the only servant of Abaddon who is about to die. About to die? Why do you, what do you mean by that? Melisandi shakes her head. I can't say, and you will never know. You will not live to warn them. Avedon will be rubble soon. Duke Griffin has promised it to, has promised it, promised it to us all. She gives you the word, and her beasts attack. No, she gives the word, and the beasts attack. Okay. Well, not quite sure what this is all about, but I do know one thing. I do not want to be killed. Not today. Uh, three points left. Hmm. I guess I might as well open up with this. Soften them up a little bit. You go here. Use Triumphant Roar. You use this. Drake might be immune. No, it is not. All the better. Should probably... Ah, that's really bad. I would have liked to focus on the Basilisk before they could get the stun off. Unfortunately, I don't think I have anything I can do to cure them. Nope. I don't think so. Well, that is unfortunate. Luckily, it only lasts for one more turn, but still. Uh, I guess I might as well do that. Nice hit. Okay, he was restunned for two more turns. That's not great. But good thing he did actually get his uh, triumphant roar off before he got stunned, so the rest of the party can benefit from that. Okay, Shima's turn should be coming up one of these days, and of course he got knocked back. Um, 
why don't you teleport right back into the fray? And finish off the basilisk. Nice. Alright. And you, why don't you, hmm, actually, charm a foe. Rabbit rat, no. Um, the drake is kind of hurt. But if I could charm it. Ah, of course. Should have tried charming the hound. I guess that would have had a better chance at success. Anyway, hmm. Yeah. Attack her because of the backstab bonus. And I guess. Might as well buff himself up. Uh, you should move toward that Drake. And maybe use this. And you have an attack left, so attack Malisandi. You attack the Drake. Hmm. Okay. Keep attacking her. Well, she is pretty sturdy, I gotta say. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess I wanna get rid of the Drake as soon as I can. So that thing is out of the... out of the equation now. Now that I don't... Oh, yeah, well, I didn't even consider that. Of course, I got a backstep bonus against the Hound now, so it was beneficial to attack it in the first place. Ouch. Use that. Of course, she's not going to get stunned, but... Okay, you can do this. Some good hits. Actually, Shima could use some sort of healing. Might as well use his self-healing. Nice. She's still hasted. Lady, I'm afraid to inform you... I'm sorry to inform you that... Uh, this fight is pretty much over. Tender Malisandi crumples to the ground, a proud warrior of Calendarial to the last. This is another senseless death that Duke Griffin is going to have to answer for. Loyal to Avedon or not, any attack on a hand must be answered. That and uh, any attack on us will be... Uh, will lead to us defending ourselves and killing the attackers. Because we kind of want to stay alive, you know. Shadowwalker's Blade. Well, well, well. Unfortunately, it does not deal as much damage as my current weapon. Searing Pond, Earth Discipline... It's all... All nice, but uh, since there is no dual wielding, or if there is, I have no idea how to do it, I don't really have a, have a use for this. Unfortunate, but oh well. Let's see here. Uh... Okay, I guess that was it. We got a lot of uh, story out of her. A lot of interesting dialogue. Nothing much in terms of of loot, and of course the experience at this point is not a factor anymore. But I am glad I checked that cellar just on a whim, basically. Oh, and this yeah, this is another shortcut. Okay. Now let's actually take a look at this tunnel here. Interested to see where exactly it leads. But I am going to fight every single enemy 
regardless of uh, whether it's uh, useful or not, or necessary. You enter this crude tunnel. The low ceiling forces you to bow your head as you walk. You suspect that it is an abandoned tunnel, recently occupied and restored by smugglers. Except for the dripping of water and the squeaking of rats, it is quiet. Duke Griffin's soldiers have not yet discovered it. Okay. Well, that's good, I guess. As you walk down the dark passage, you note that Nathalie is muttering angrily to herself. The long, cold journey here has aggravated the problems with her arm. She holds it tight against her chest. Then you hear her say, Curse Abaddon, they must be behind this. Is there nothing they won't do to keep me down? Nathalie, are you alright? She stops muttering with a start. I, I, I'm sorry, Atanto. I will regain control. I know that I can trust you when everyone else has abandoned me. She walks on in silence. Okay. Um, keep it together, Nathalie, please. Oh, hello. Got some local wildlife to take care of. Man, these are weak. Oh. Infernal bats. No matter. Immune? No, not immune. That's really... There's really no way to tell. <laughs> if there's one consistency in what enemies are or aren't immune to fire damage, then it is that uh, you can never tell. <laughs> you suddenly realize just how determined Duke Griffin is to track you down. His hounds are both willing and capable of tracking you under the earth. The west wall of this old tunnel starts to shake. You hear powerful claws working their way through the dirt. Then the walls both in front and behind you fall, allowing you allowing your hunters to pour into the tunnel. Nice. Luckily, these are very weird. Uh, very weird, yeah. Not, not so weird, but weak. Woodwalker Dryer. Summoning a drake. Just like that. And Woodwalker Union. Maybe we should kill these first? Oh, I, unless we are ensnared and can't kill her. Manshima isn't. And he resisted the days, that's very good for us. In theory. Ouch. Come on. Well, I guess uh, you might as well start attacking her. Don't really want to use any more resources for this fight here than I absolutely need to. Unia should go down. Yeah, well, okay. Should get down very soon. Okay, good. The Drake is also gone. Now her demise is just uh, a matter of a couple of turns. She might kill Nathalie, but that's fine. Yeah, well... Oh, <laughs> well that was uh, actually a bit closer than I expected. Good thing we had one man left standing. Uh, hmm. Two different shaman staves and a true shield wrap. Okay. Uh, chance to evade and hostile effect resistance. Well, I mean. Hmm. 
A bit more armor. Evade chance, hostile effect resistance. Yeah, I guess I might as well put this on. And as for these, uh, can you use any of these? 5% more magical damage, so far so good. Firebolt, of course. Um, damage, however, is not quite as good. Yeah, whatever. Don't really need that. So where did they come from? Is there actually going to be a connection to anywhere? <laughs> Doesn't really look like uh, look like it. No, oh, wait. There is some treasure here. Um, yeah. Might as well grab these while I'm here. Okay, this is just it's just connects to that area. Here we have nothing interesting, and here we have nothing interesting either. Okay, and we emerge here. Oh, okay. Uh, from this this side of this of the thicket to the east, you can see a concealed path. Okay, so that did connect to that uh, little. That little uh, alcove there. Not the right word. Not quite the right word, but you know. Alright, and uh, now I could technically sneak by this camp and just walk across the bridge undisturbed. However, hmm, I guess I'll, I'll do it in this episode. Should be fine. We have these two spellcasters. They are probably going to be annoying, but... You know. Teleport. Right into there. Make one more step. And haste everybody, and you. Oh, they're just... just too far apart. So I guess I'll use days and see how many I can get. Well, it looks like three of them. That's nice. If nothing else, it will speed up the fights a little bit. Because those three will not be taking their turns for a little while at least. Okay, Shima. Why don't you attack that guy twice? Already half dead, that's very nice. I'd like to see that. Debuff everybody. And why don't you? I guess this will hit five people. Now it will. No, five, six people, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. It's actually not so bad. Good. Uh, wait, it would have been good, but apparently they were all reflecting, huh? Yeah. That was pretty catastrophic. <laughs> Actually, I did not pay attention to that at all. Um, well, Shima, I guess it's up to you now. Come on. Uh, why don't you take a step here and hopefully... Yeah, okay, I was hoping to hit that one over there. Of course, now I can't move. Maybe I'll finish that guy off? Yes. Good. Uh, Tantro, if you could please snap out of it. Oh god, two more turns. It's actually not very good. Battle Frenzy triggered again. That is useful. Jesus, they are wrecking me. Um, my only chance is to try and survive until Atantuo is back to his senses. And until then, I will try to stay alive. Ouch! Holy crap. We'll get another turn. Yeah. Okay. 
these keep missing. Okay. Okay. Ooh, dicey. Um, let's drink this. Actually, um, no, that's not gonna help me. Hey, sir, reflection. No. Uh, what? Oh, whoops! Did not mean to. Um, to pick that up. I guess that wasted an action point or two. Uh, but Atancho was actually already back. Um, not sure which one, which of the two um, charmed. I think it was her. I did not really pay attention or didn't really notice it when it happened. Okay, they are toast. Pretty much. They maneuvered themselves in a, into a very, very bad situation. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, come on. Oh, I'm hasted. Nice. Okay. She's out of the way, and so is he. Man, that was a bit rough. Wouldn't have been quite as bad if, uh... If Nathalie hadn't killed herself. It's quite a bit of damage she got reflected on herself there. Whoops. Okay. Let's loot this. Uh, short sword, money... Potion of speed. Yeah, you take that. Alright, let's see. Looks like the southern... The uh, southern part of the map is clear, as far as I can tell. So... Next episode we will be checking out the northern riverbank. I hope you enjoyed the video thus far. If you did, please hit like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you real soon. Until then, have a wonderful time, and bye-bye.